Welcome back to some Kingdom Hearts content guys. For this video, I want to discuss about the possibility of Utada Hikaru, the artist behind Simple and Clean and Sanctuary from Kingdom Hearts, to return for Kingdom Hearts 3. Apart from that, I'd also like to go over some small info regarding 0.2 Fragmentary Passage, even though I'm kind of late. <laughs> Now apparently Utada Hikaru has a new album coming up, but there's still no official release date. Utada is well known for Kingdom Hearts' main theme songs. Kingdom Hearts 1 had Simple and Clean, and Kingdom Hearts 2 had Sanctuary. The rest of the series basically had, let's just say remixes of these two songs. For example, Birth by Sleep's intro had a remixed version of Simple and Clean, which was also part of the intro in Kingdom Hearts 1. Sanctuary was used for the Kingdom Hearts 2 intro, but for the credits, we got an After Battle remix. So basically, these songs have been reused for quite some time. Now Birth by Sleep was released in 2010, which was released a few years after the release of the second game. Around that time, Utada had left to pursue human activities, meaning she wanted to take a break from music and enjoy something new. Now Utada has worked for 12 years, so I guess it was about time for her to take a break. By doing so, she met someone, got married and got her first child. So now, she's finally decided to come back to music and according to Yahoo News Japan and Sports Hoshi, her return is scheduled for Spring 2016. We don't know exactly when, but at least we know around when. Now does this mean she will return for Kingdom Hearts 3? Knowing that she performed both theme songs for the numbered titles? Simple and Clean and Sanctuary are pretty awesome, but I think a brand new theme song for one of the most anticipated sequels would be amazing. I think all of you might agree. Since Kingdom Hearts 3 is the finale of the Xehanort saga, I think her new song will have a climatic feel to it. Now Simple and Clean and Sanctuary were pretty memorable and joyful. I wouldn't say they were dark and dramatic, but they had the feel of the game themselves. For example, Simple and Clean had this upcoming adventure feeling to it, whereas Sanctuary is exactly what it says, Sanctuary, like finally going home and being safe. Now Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be pretty dramatic, so I think Utada might come up with something sad and dramatic, but who knows, we might get something like Sanctuary, where there's this feeling of hope and safety. Nothing more is known regarding this news for now, but we should get something eventually. Alright, now about Kingdom Hearts 2.8, which is set to release in 2016 on PlayStation 4. Game Informer has a few info regarding 0.2 Fragmentary Passage. It is known that 0.2 has elements from Kingdom Hearts 3, graphics-wise. It will basically run on the Unreal Engine 4. Tetsuya wants fans to get a feeling of Kingdom Hearts 3 before it gets released, and I wonder when, like seriously. I think 2017 is probable. According to Nomura, 0.2 will take a few hours to complete. That's a good thing, and some of us thought that the game would be way too short, because Tetsuya had mentioned that the length would equal to the length of one world from Kingdom Hearts 2. Apparently, the story will take place at Castle of Dreams, which makes sense, because there was this one scene where Aqua discovered the Castle of Dreams in the Realm of Darkness. The story will primarily focus on Aqua only. It is unlikely that we'll see any other characters, not even Mickey apparently. It is stated on Kingdom Hearts Insider that 0.2 has been in development alongside Kingdom Hearts 3, where it hasn't taken any resources from it, development-wise. Finally, it was restated that Dream Drop Distance HD is more of a remake, due to the difference in controls. The 3DS had basically two screens, so that's pretty much it, it's pretty simple. A final note, no extra content will be added to DDD. So are any of you guys expecting Utada to return for Kingdom Hearts 3? Write down what you think in the comment section below. Oh and by the way, on December 9th, 2014, an album featuring cover songs of Utada was released. An acoustic version of Sanctuary was recorded. It's very good. I'll leave the link in the description below. I've been Vivi, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.